In this video, we'll talk about determining the elevation of the high or low point for vertical curves. To calculate the high or low point of a curve, we're going to start with the general equation for a vertical curve, assuming it's a symmetric parabolic curve, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Using basic calculus, we're going to take a derivative of that equation to find the slope. So the slope of the vertical curve is 2 times ax plus b. We can substitute in our specific relationships for a and b. So the term a is g2 minus g1 over 2 times l, and b is g1 in our vertical curve uh, specific equation. So the slope equals 2 multiplied by g2 minus g1 over 2 times l multiplied by x plus g1. We can simplify that by canceling out the 2s. So we have the slope equals g2 minus g1 divided by l multiplied by x plus g1. The slope at a high or low point is going to be 0. This is only for the instances where the grades are opposite in sign to each other. So you have a positive grade followed by a negative or a negative followed by a positive. So this is only when it, this is these uh, assumptions and and calculations only apply in those scenarios, so a true sag or a true crest vertical curve that is uh, has grades of opposite sign. So we'll set our slope equal to zero because we want to find that high or low point. So g2 minus g1 over l multiplied by x plus g1 equals zero. And we're going to solve this for x to find the location of that either high or low point on the curve. So x equals negative g1 times l over g2 minus g1. So again, in the, in the case of a crest vertical curve, we're going to find the high point. In the case of a sag vertical curve, we're going to find the low point. So it depends on which curve you have as to whether or not it's a high point or a low point. And again, a drawing of your vertical curve can really help and make sure you identify if you have any mistakes when you're working through these equations. So again, x is the distance from the PVC to that highest or lowest point on the curve in stations. So moving from the PVC to that point of interest. L is the total horizontal length of the vertical curve. So the total length of the vertical curve in stations. G1 is the interest grade. We've got to make sure that's in percents. In, in percent and that we include the positive or negative sign. G2 is the exit grade. Again, in percent, not in decimal and include the positive or negative sign with that as well. And one thing we'll notice as we work through uh, example problems of finding the high and low point is the high or low point is always located on the side of the PVI with the flatter grade. So if you look at the, if you look at the curve in totality and you see which side of the PVI has a flatter grade, that's the side you'll see the high or low point. So that can be a, a useful check. If you have your drawing and figure out where your high or low point is, that can be a, a, another check for you to make sure you're, you've got the correct solution. Now, we usually what we want is to find that elevation. So the x only gives us the location of that high or low point. Usually, we're going to actually want to find what the elevation is. So we'll know both where it's located and what that actual elevation is. So we plug in our components. Uh, we start with a parabolic equation. We're going to plug in x in the components of the parabolic equation where it's applicable. So we're going to plug in that negative g1 times l divided by g2 minus g1, where x belongs in the parabolic equation. And again, a is g2 minus g1 over 2 times l. b is the entrance grade in percent, g1. And c is the PVC elevation in feet, which is equal to the PVI elevation minus g1 times L over 2. So with a crest vertical curve, we're looking for the high point. For a sag vertical curve, we're looking for the low point. And we can use these equations to determine x, which is the distance along the vertical curve where the higher low point occurs. And then y is our elevation. So we can actually determine the location and elevation of that high or low point.